So about a month ago, when I quit my job, I quit UPS. I was almost at the $40 an hour mark. And I felt the Lord tugging at me to quit and follow him. And I was talking to a friend tonight. And I told her, I said, this is what it feels like to walk on water. Because you take that leap of faith and you get out of the boat when Jesus calls you. And he's asking you to come to him do the things that he wants you to do and do what he wants, you know, his will for you. And this is what he meant. And I never understood, but I do now because I'm doing it. I'm walking into the unknown, into what Jesus has called me to. And there's times where I felt like I was sinking um, with all the, everything going on. Because after I quit my job, I didn't expect to get kicked out of my house. I didn't expect to lose the new job that I had gotten. And, I, you know, I didn't expect to be homeless and all of this. But I've gotten confirmation after confirmation and assurance from the Lord that this is what it was supposed to be. And he's, calling, he's called me out into the water. And I've been fervently keeping my eyes on him so that I don't sink and get lost in the circumstances. Because everything that's been thrown at me and done to me since I've quit that job has been meant to stop me, causing me, wanting to cause me to sink and to return to the captivity that I was in. But I refuse to do so. Because Jesus has called me. And so that's what it feels like. It's very scary. But if you keep your eyes on Jesus, you will walk across the water to him. And you will reach your destination. So sometimes you have to go through those really scary things. If You know, I filed for divorce from my abusive husband. And... I had to do some things that I didn't want to do, like move into my parents' house. But this whole time, I've kept my eyes on Jesus, and I've been walking across the water. And I think I've reached the point where the Red Sea is about to split, and I'm going to have a highway to get to where I'm going. Amen.